Uh, the traffic cool down effect doesn't really affect uh, your average worker. We're in Invercargill today, we're going to be heading to Bluff a little bit later. These will be the last two stops on our month-long road trip. The National Party leader, Bill English, was in Invercargill too yesterday, trying to woo voters. He's a popular figure in the region. He was born in Lumsden, a few clicks up the highway. We're going to ask young people what they think of Bill and what issues matter most to them with the election just over two weeks away. Bill English, what do you reckon? Um, I don't enjoy the fella at all. He's doing a terrible job. Why'd you say that? Uh, he's making our country a muck. Just tearing it up. Vote Labour, vote Labour. Or Green Party, either or. He's an old family friend of my parents. Um, he's a cool guy. Comes from a cool place. As a shooter, he looks out. Well, he's not necessarily looking out for the shooter community, but he doesn't have any intentions of, you know, banning firearms. So, and that's obviously important to you. Well, yeah, shooting's a big part of my life. So, I mean, it'd be a real shame if, you know, laws were to change and firearms were to become, you know, illegal. I do appreciate the fact that they do care a lot about the economy, but the fact of the matter is, uh, the traffic cool down effect doesn't really affect uh, your average worker which is unfortunate, and they do keep talking about the average wage, which I think is a very vast misrepresentation of New Zealand wages. So what issue do you reckon is important? I reckon what's important is um, job opportunities for students. You know, they ask for previous work experience, yeah. but the only way you get experience is by them hiring you sure. while you're a student. Is there much in the way of jobs and opportunities around Invercargill? There is, but it's very difficult to get <laughs> to get them. I'm a student nurse, and I've been trying for a long time to get caregiving jobs, but it's just zero. I would like wages to be a lot higher. I think the cost of living is obscene compared to the wages that people are earning, and it's not fair on families, and it's not fair on people that are just trying to make their way. Uh, it's not just for the living costs for students who go to SIT or university and stuff. It's also for the factor of little kids going back to uh, primary school, they come from awful homes and they struggle to learn and some teachers don't know how to deal with that. It's just something that I think the government needs to invest in more is the education system, not just certain parts of it like art and sports, it's just everything in general. Have you thought much about who you're going to vote for? Um, yes, actually, I'm going to be voting for the Green Party. I've read up a little bit. They've said that they're trying to just look into our interests, like what we want, and then to act on that. So I'm, I'm all for that. Everyone needs to work together, eh, and, like, just help each other out. We set off from the top of the North Island about a month ago without much of a plan other than to speak to young people in areas that aren't much heard from during an election campaign. We've been to Kaitaia, Wairoa and Westport. We've met many intelligent Langatahi who are well aware of the issues facing them, their whanau and their community. We've also found many of these people switch off when the word politics is mentioned. I don't really understand all that, or I don't really follow politics, or that doesn't interest me, have been the most common responses. There's a terrible disconnect and it means so many young people don't turn up when it comes time to vote. We've asked people in places like Kaitaia, Wairoa and Westport how to even begin fixing this problem and we've been told that it has to start in schools and in homes, that our youth need to be told that just one vote, their vote, does make a difference. I'd like to thank the Rangatahi who opened their hearts and spoke to us during this trip. It was incredibly brave. This has been Beyond the Beehive. Right, let's go home. Bring it to me, bring it to me.